means so much to me. You know, he's such a gentle flower. Yeah, he's hardcore. He's a nice guy. Yeah. All right, so that's what some of the big acts are up to, but there are plenty of smaller bands worth yelling about. So here again is Cobra Starship's Ryland Blackington to talk about music. Let's talk about this year's top five. What do you got? Top five for me this year, I gave a, put a lot of thought into this. I know that I talked to you about some of these, so you might give me a hear here on the first one, but Ratatat. Absolutely. A duo from Brooklyn. Uh, I know last time I talked to you, uh, LP4 mm -hmm. had just come out. You actually were the one that told me to get that record. I think so, yeah. And I've been listening, I don't know if you've been listening to it as extensively as I have, but more. it has this... A lot more. Okay, that's fair. But it has this ability to make you feel like you're on some sort of a drug. Yeah. Like if you could smoke NyQuil or like <laughs> some fair. weird... I can't put my finger on the way I feel when I listen to it, but I listened to it loud and I just felt like really hungry afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I like that one. I also love uh, Waves. Oh, Waves are great. Waves are amazing. And I mean, actually, did you tell me about them? I think I, I, I might have told you about Waves also. Yeah, Waves. Um, <laughs> Ryan's my go-to guy for yeah. music. I'm sorry. He's like, I'm freaking out. I gotta do a show about music. Hit me. <laughs> uh, um, uh, but no, Waves, yeah, Waves is, you know, second record just came out. And, uh, you know, it's, for me, at this point, it's almost not even about the music. They just came out that we, you know, merch, you got a lot of great merch, I'm sure, the, the Blake 100 oh, yeah. the t-shirts, the hoodies, yes, we what have you, stuff. the posters. Blake182.com, feel free to go and yeah, buy, buy all of your yeah. own stuff. But Waves have a weed grinder. A weed grinder? It just is a weed grinder with the Waves logo on it. Do you even need to listen to the music to know that these people are awesome? <laughs> I love the new record. That was definitely my record of the summer, I think, the Waves album. Um, another one, I don't know, are you a big Chromeo fan? Oh, yeah. The new Chromeo record just love came out. Love the Genius. No one else is doing what they're doing. It's called Business Casual. And I think the best way to illustrate this record, if this record were a person, it would have a beard, absolutely. <laughs> but like a really well-maintained, kind of like Barry Gibb, combed, shiny, right. silken beard, a white, all-white suit. And it would have like you know cabossier, and it would be just driving into like the men or like the Miami sunset or something. Yeah, you had a good take on it. You said it reminds you of Michael McDonald. Yeah, it's, it's exactly. It's like yeah, I don't know how to describe it. It's just those really grandpa y like. <laughs> like about like. It just reminds me of that. They even said, I think I wrote this down because it was such a good quote. They said, "We're so 80s, we're 70s." Oh my God! Like they had just occupied everything in the genre of 80s to the point where they got by default bumped back to the 70s. <laughs> songs and uh, he does something really interesting with times like uh, he'll put in uh, like a waltz beat halfway through a song for like a pre-chorus or something Zany like that. stuff. Yeah. That's cool. And then uh, Rogue Wave. Now that's another thing. This year some incredible band names. Rogue Wave. That sounds like a gang you want to be a member of when you're in like middle school. <laughs> this band, this metal band I heard about called Black Mayonnaise. Whoa. Yeah. Don't eat the black mayonnaise. Don't eat the black mayonnaise. If, if, if it's anything like what the music sounds like, I will never eat black mayonnaise. <laughs> also, another sort of more on the metal tip, children. That's a good name for a hardcore Children, band. you know what I mean? They're yeah. Like children, and like, they're so brutal. I went to see them play a show in Brooklyn, and it's the type of music you listen to, just like, kind of like, fists clenched like uh -huh. this. I left the show, like, visibly more toned. <laughs> like, every muscle on my body was just a little bit more firm. And, and I was, like, cut out of wood. And my girlfriend's like, did you like the show? Yeah, shut up! And I was, like, so, like, fired up. Lay off me! And I want to get brutal, brutal right now. Just stalk the streets looking for people to fight? Just looking for beer cans to, like, yeah, totally. Just, what'd, what'd you say? say? Yeah, you got a problem with that? you yeah. say? It's abusive. It's really good. I don't know if I can get into that. I know that. See, I mean, I watch from far away because of, you know, the height problems. Right. I don't get in any trouble with the mosh pit. <laughs> um, Matt and Kim just released a new single. It's yeah. amazing. It's so good. Cameras is such an awesome song. And their album comes out later on this year. I can't wait for that. They're awesome. Have you seen them play live? No, actually, I actually have seen them play live. It's really endearing. They're just like, they really like engage one another. And she has chops. Yeah, she has real, she real, has real, real, real chops. chops. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to, I don't know why I thought she wouldn't, but. She really does. Because she's female. That's, why don't you just say it? Guilty. Yeah, I know how progressive we were going to be on this show, but yes, women are not as good at drums as men are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. The girl from Lenny Kravitz? Come on. Yeah. Best drummer ever. Which and, uh, I didn't have to call her girl from Lenny Kravitz and knew her real name. Apologize for that. But <laughs> incredible drummer. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, thank you very much, man. Nice talking music with you. Likewise. You know, people can